second only to missiles, underwater mines pose the greatest threat not only to the Navy but to commercial shipping. And those underwater devices have become more sophisticated. New at 6, 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence with the technology now being developed to meet that threat. One fifth of the world's oil passes through the Straits of Hormuz in the Middle East every day. The threat of a mine there, as Iran once threatened to do, or a ship actually hitting one, would bring the world's economies to a halt. That's where this unmanned seafaring robot comes in. It's being developed for the Navy under the direction of Captain Dwayne Ashton, who spoke to us via Skype from Maryland. So what we're trying to do is trick that very smart mine to explode. The prototype is called UISS, or Unmanned Influence Sweep System, designed to be one of the mission modules for the littoral combat ship. Right now, mine countermeasures involve crews on board Avenger-class ships based in San Diego, where sailors are schooled in the art of finding underwater threats. The problem, as seen in this Navy photo, is that sailors get too close, or that divers have to go in the water and detonate what they find. Right now, we're focusing on mine sweeping, but we may have an opportunity to include mine hunting or neutralization of those those mines in the in the future. That's what Ashton hopes UISS will evolve into. The Navy is also developing the Knife Fish, a 20-foot long 3,000 pound robot to do the searching. Despite austere budget concerns, this appears to be a high priority. We're working very, very hard within the constraints that we have, but right now this is very, very important capability the Navy needs, so we are moving forward within the littoral combat ship uh, capability. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. The goal is to have both systems in place and operational within four to five years.